Today, let's talk about the Draft Commander Trainer. Draft Commander Trainer, as you see here, is a very unique fire engineering testing device. The Draft Commander Trainer is equipped with a 500 gallon per minute, 65 PSI pump at the nose of the unit. This pump is designed to simulate a fire hydrant, typical fire hydrants that you'll find in most residential neighborhoods across the country. This pump is also capable of delivering flows at 600 gallons per minute at 25 PSI. Fire instructors can do a variety of scenarios using this hydrant pump here and the ball intake valve that is supplied with the draft commander. This ball intake valve, we could gate it down, cause this hose to become spongy, simulate a water system failure, allows the pump engineer to think on his feet on the fly. The fire pump is equipped with its pump panel, master battery switch, voltmeter, fuel gauge, it has an onboard five gallon fuel tank, it's an electric start, it is equipped with a solar battery charger, solar unit is mounted at the top of the lid, it is also equipped with a 120 volt wall charger to maintain the battery, giving you two options to keep this battery charged and ready for use at all times. Draft Commander Trainer, like all Draft Commanders, is equipped with two pitot stations and two tip boxes. Pitot Station 1 or Pitot Station Yellow, driver side. Pitot Station Red, passenger side. Draft Commander tip box, one inch to two and a half inch tip, followed by the actual pitot station. This pitot station is capable of reading 2,500 gallons per minute. Draft Commander trainer is also equipped with the master monitor station. Master Monitor Station will allow you to perform your 1911 annual pump test. It also will provide you readings on your fire trucks, flows and pressures if you're doing any training scenarios and situations. The Master Monitor is also equipped with a quick reference chart, starting at 500 gallons per minute all the way down to 2,500 gallons per minute. On the back of every Master Monitor Station, it's equipped with the NFPA smoothbore nozzle chart. So you could hook up any tip size, flow any combination of water, and verify that here on the back of the chart. Draft Commander Trainer is also equipped with two intake stations. These intake stations are capable of holding four hoses. Three, two and a half inch, three inch, four inch, any combination thereof. Also equipped with a five inch storts. We have adapters and fittings included with the Draft Commander. You can take this five inch storts, apply this adapter, and connect a fourth three inch hose to this. Again, this monitor is capable of flowing 2,500 gallons per minute. The Draft Commander training receiver, as we say, the heart and soul of a Draft Commander trainer. This training receiver will allow four firemen to stand back and flow four hand lines from inch and a half, inch and three quarter, to two and a half, master monitor, ground monitors, even deck guns can all be flowed in the back of the trainer. Allowing fire instructors to simulate any fire flow and train their pump engineers, pump operators. Draft Commander Trainer is equipped with two rear storage compartments. Inside the storage compartments you will see there are six 50 foot sections of three inch hose. Three yellows, three reds. Over here on this discharge station, I have one of our nozzles from our optional fire training kit. The fire training kit comes with three nozzles, two inch and a half nozzles, one two and a half inch nozzle. All fittings and adapters, inline pressure gauges, so that you can connect these, these hand lines directly to the manifold and create additional fire flow scenarios. All feeding through the pitot station. You can in turn verify all of those flows directly at the pitot station as well. The Draft Commander Trainer is also equipped with a handline nozzle test station. 
This handline nozzle test station is designed to test all your handlines to NFPA 1962. In addition to testing to 1962, this handline nozzle test station will allow you to check and set your presets on your fire truck. All new apparatus today are coming out with presets. Makes it very easy for the pump, op pump operator as the fireman pulls one of the pre-connects, cross lays, hitting one button, and the truck immediately goes to a preset flow and pressure. How do you verify that flow and pressure? Well, in the old days, you take out the, the chart, calculate your friction loss, you look at your nozzle, and as we say, you hope for the best. Well, here, you don't have to hope for the best anymore. You can directly connect your nozzle, connect your hose, hit your preset on the truck, and verify that flow through the onboard flow meter, onboard pressure gauge, and adjust accordingly. That way you can set your presets exactly what they need to be set, and when you pull them, they're gonna perform exactly as they're designed to. The Draft Commander Trainer rides on an all aluminum 28 foot trailer. Training height is 10 feet six inches, as noted by the placard at the top. A Draft Commander trainer weighs in at 7,400 pounds. It can easily be towed by any department vehicle, a three quarter ton or larger. The Draft Commander trainer is equipped with one large front storage compartment. That storage compartment can be utilized to house additional equipment, additional training material, making this Draft Commander totally mobile. You can take this unit to each of your stations, use the equipment on the unit, train the fireman, the call comes in, the fireman can go to the call without wasting time of reloading their truck, packing their equipment back on and going out the door. Keeping in service time versus out of service time. Like all draft commanders, this draft commander trainer has the patented cooling system. This is the warm water discharge valve. So as you're training all day, pump testing all day, or any combination thereof, the water can stay cool and you can operate this unit continuously. Draft Commander Trainer is equipped with a 3,000 gallon onboard poly tank. If you'd like to learn more about this Draft Commander or other Draft Commander models, please visit our website at www.draftcommander.com.